All right, guys. Fresh box. Let's see what we've got. Finally, getting some girl power packs in here. Alright, alright. First pack, let's see if the pool tab works. Oh, they fixed it. They fixed the pool tab! We got a gift return. <laughs> Eat my sticky balls, which was a reprint of a set two card. Glacial Spikes Jam Session. Uh, America's Exchange Shido Tribe Blue Flame Surge Ultra Rare. So now they've got the uh, Ultra Rares and then the Uncommons at the back. Yeah, character Uncommon, Uncommon, Uncommon. Midnight 2 is a really fun character. She has uh, ranged stuff. If it is not blocked, you can freeze. If it is blocked, you can make them discard. Really, really neat tech. I like that character. I'm gonna try use it a little bit, maybe. We'll see. I've got my ones that I really want to use first. Like may have. Oh, we got the secret rare right here. Gigantification swing. We've got Mount Lady on there. We've got Momo. Another Momo and cute baby new asset that's really mixing things up plus one or minus one to keyword ratings that means stun x powerful all sorts of things but let's look at the secret rare we got spend one momentum your checks to play charge fury or slam attacks get plus one um and response after you play this card your rival's next check to play a card gets minus two so it kind of comes in with a pseudo plus two speed but not a way to reduce it I mean you can raise your checks but I mean that's very specific I like it exhaustin black ops ready to go Warren can pony I didn't even know she was an American student until the card said so barrier buster look at all those keywords powerful three stun one Here's one of the characters I do I plan on making, Mariko 2. Rabbit Girl. Uh, we've got the commit after your fury or kick attack. Deals damage. Um, clear one attack from your card pool. And your next attack gets plus one speed and plus one damage. Um, really cool. It doesn't trump like Faith Shield, which happens on block. But I think... Yeah, but it's still nice to clear. Clear a card pool, keep attacking. You got a 630. Um, and you've got Tenacious Destroy one foundation ready this card, which is kind of nice. Um, I wonder if she uses some of the same cards that. Um, what is the one guy from the U set who like destroys foundations if anyone has over six? Grenade Blast. Rare Mina. Disarming Glance, Heat Tolerance, and Refreshing Blend. We got some Gold Tips Imperial there. Pretty fun. Fun little thing. Oh, I always thought that had to do with Gentle Criminal, but maybe it was Momo this whole time. Got a Rifle Arm. Grape Buckler. That's actually really, really cool. I'm blocking it with like a Grape Shield. Size Reduction. There we go. Ooh, Masticate. Four low for five. And has spin one momentum. Your rival destroys one foundation and flips one ready foundation. There's still a lot of defense against destroying stuff. Um, but that's not bad with the two low block. That's uh, not bad. Four low for five. We're bringing back some Shigaraki stuff. It's on Chaos, too. That's interesting. Um, what was Miracle? Oh, where did I put her? I left her in the stack. Ha! Ah, she's so good, she's still in here. She is on death, so she could run Masticate. Force them to block it. A 
Corrupt Drop, Size Specialist, Acid Splash, Mina card. I know Mina in Mina two, 2. Yeah, Mina 2 gets a lot out of this set. Um, a lot of face down low. A lot of fun things. Um, it'll be interesting. Interesting. Let's see how she does. I know everyone's already seen a lot of these cards, so I'm gonna go through them pretty quick. I'm late to the party. Dragon's Fortitude, we got a woman. The Nomu. Apparently this was like one of the stronger ones in pre-release. Um, you get plus one, plus two from removing one card. Um, and then you get an additional plus two damage if it was an attack you removed. So, pretty strong. Pretty strong little attack. What have we got so far? We got four rares, two ultra rares, and an SR. I'll leave that on top because that SR looks sick. That is beautiful artwork too. Alright. Moving on. I do like that card. I'm gonna try to use it. Got some to look at that afro. Look at that afro. That's sick. We got a jukebox hero. Oh, juice box hero. Sorry, I just assumed it was a jukebox hero. Maybe they didn't want to infringe on that. Um, spend one momentum. This tech has plus some damage for each of its keywords, which that has four keywords. So plus four damage is like powerful four on that card. And flip if your rival has eight or more foundations, you get to draw a card. Draw power is huge. Um, that's why, um, what is the yo-yo card? Walk the Dog is such a good card. There's Free Draw. Big sister of 1B. If you like playing the 1B girl. Got Momo again. Latent Skill is another one that just got a reprint. Um, I don't have the promo here, but there was a extra credit promo, um, but it was a set one starter exclusive. I'm really glad to have it back. Discard two, draw two. You have to have two cards in your hand, but uh, I mean, it's so worth it to get the cards you want. Ooh, high octane rush rare. This attack speed is seven or more. It gets plus three damage and it has X2. So you can't get it right off itself. Uh, but anything that can give it plus one speed will be able to utilize that card pretty well. And there's Mount Lady herself. Enhance, uh, reveal one momentum. Your non-throw attack gets powerful X. X equals the number of keywords on the revealed card. So you reveal some sort of attack with keywords. There you go. And response commit after you block an attack, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. Your rival's next attack gets minus one damage for each of your momentum. So kind of another one. It's on chaos that you want to stack up like Amajiki. So uh, momentum hit will be very important against Mount Lady, just like it's important against Amajiki. All right. What do we got? What do we got? We haven't got many ultra rares so far. Just the two. I'm hoping it's six in the box still. Heaven Piercing Ice Wall on the rare. There's Mina Ishido 3. After your ranged or slam attack deals damage, your rival loses one health. Really beautiful art, even though it's like not even shining at all. Uh, commit, remove two fa face down foundation cards from your card pool. Your rival destroys one ready. Interesting. That's interesting. Girls, yeah, you'll have to excuse my family. We have a busy house. All right, next. Ooh, DK Awaken, Shigaraki. This card is so wild for an ultra rare. Read it first. Form, destroy all foundations and assets in all stages. Build the top card of your deck. Face down and your combat phase ends. Such a gross card. 
Actually, I'm gonna leave that on top because I love the way it looks. Decay Awaken. This will counter Younger Togoro. It will counter all sorts of interesting stuff. Mushroom counters is a new thing. So, Kanoko Kamori. Such a beautiful card. Um, she adds mushroom counters to stuff and does all sorts of cool things with it. So, we have three Ultra Rares. Hopefully three more to go. Let's check it out. I'll gladly trade a uh, ultra rare for a uh, um, chrome. Spring the trap where Toga's got some love in this set. Toga 3 is in this set. Or, yeah, that is Toga 3. Lady Nagant. So she. It's a very interesting character. From what I understand, she wants to run like two checks, and she has cards that kind of negate check twos. Uh, makes them check like a three. Kind of a neat little little thing there. We'll keep going, keep going, keep going. I gotta get through this. Oh, double jumbo fist. Ultra rare. And Asui, this is the first deck I'm actually making. It's Asui. Um, I'm really excited for a five-hander that I like again. The last one I actually liked was Uraraka. He got me a little Uraraka shiny deck box friend made for me. Really cool. All right. That costed a lot of money because I had to buy all those cards too. I didn't, uh, it, back then the DLC didn't come with like two of each, it was one of each. Ooh, condescending explanation. So, from what I understand, this is like your new, um, decoy duplicate or whatever. Uh, a person has removed, spend one momentum, flip this attack. It just straight flips the attack mid attack. Um, pretty disgusting. Makes them force that to situation of when like they need to get rid of that like the whole time you're playing an attack you're gonna have to worry that it just gets flipped at any point you're enhancing or doing anything wild so we got one two four four ultra rares so far let's keep going there's five Somnibalist Subduel. 3 have 2. Really fun card. It comes with stun 2. If they don't try to block it, you freeze those two that you just stunned. Um, Midnight also was the first PCS tournament. Midnight 1 that I entered and won. Uh, I used Midnight 1. Alright, next up. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? There's some mushrooms. Fungus Among Us. Overwatch Trigger. Nice little rare. Oh, we got a Miracle Oat on the back there. So there's that. But let's put her in the spotlight. We got a character Oat. So there are chances of Oat Art. Characters and alt art, uh, ultra rares. Um, so, really neat. It almost looks like a chrome, like the amount of gold that they've got in the, the back of this card. It's crazy. This is a beautiful card. Let's upload that right now. Beautiful, beautiful. Top load. Oh, I'll just put it in that for now. Damn. Yeah, that art pops. Dire Assault. Wish that had a ult. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Solo Pros of Furosity. Miracle. Here's the Toga we were talking about earlier. So it is Toga 4, actually. Allied. So Toga 3 is Toga 4. So Toga 4 has. 
like a character stacking ability. Uh, it's a little, a little complex, but basically you can get skills from other characters. Um, there was another character back in Life of Mortal Kombat that did a sort of similar thing called Quan Chi, I think. Um, could use other characters' abilities. It's weird that Shang Sun was never made because he would probably do the same shoot style. E smash. I don't. This is girl power. There is no Deku in this, so this is support for his other versions. But he is using shoot style, which is pretty cool. Um, so it does have the kick keyword. Um, and it is on air, so it probably works really well with Miracle. After this card leaves the card pool during the combat phase, draw a card. Yeah. So you play shoot style, you remove it with Miracle if it does damage, and draw a card. So free damage, free draw, free everything. Everybody loves free. Shotgun. Ooh, got the Denki with the Denki. Lightning Rod. This card is nuts. Um, I I can't explain how crazy good this. This is why it's a two check, but it's a four high for four. But that's what you're probably not using it for. Uh, it has deflect four and response after you play this card's deflect ability. Ability the top card of your deck goes to your momentum. So you're basically deflecting four damage and gaining the momentum when you use this on defense. And deflect doesn't matter what the block mod is. Just but if you are on offense, you get stun one. Build the top two cards of your deck face down. So face down and ready. At the start of the end phase, remove them. So you get free, um, like free resources for that turn. Um, and then you can blow them up, and then they won't get removed. So if you're using a character that blows them up, like um, I don't know if what's her name has order. But certain characters um, can blow up stuff, so yeah, you might have to just blow up those resources, then it won't matter that they were going to get removed. So they're doubling resources. Pony is a new one with horn counters. A uh, really fun character. Might have to build her on kicks, see what she does. I could probably sub her out. For Mirko, if people are doing weird stuff, block Mirko, she can just be the sub. Oh! <laughs> oh, we got an XSR Luna Tadir Tahiris? Tahiris? I think it is. Wow. It's double SRs in this box. Lady Nagant. Hold on, let's look at this. So, this is to go with Mirko. This is a Mirko box. Look at that um this attack this is an sr ult so it's got the gold kanji um she's got like the silver almost chrome on her shirt um the attack is negative one to go to beach card that is left your card pool so it's mainly for her uh, we don't have any card pool sweeps like we used to like capture evil doers and stuff that would love that card um, but enhance if this attack is blocked your rival discards half their momentum Momentum Hate. It is Deadlock Powerful 4. It has Throw and a deal of 7 damage. So, this card is bonkers. Love that card. Oh, I got 3 left. Should I crack them all? I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I got an SR, an SR Ult, an SR Miracle character. This is a Miracle box for sure. That's really cool. So, definitely getting a lot of her stuff to build her. Um, I didn't see a lot of her rares, but definitely got her like SR to go with her character ult. Shortcake Admirer. She does have a Chrome Rare as well. That'd be pretty cool. Chrome Rare would be pretty cool. Um, but you know, I'll take I'll take this. That's a really nice XSR. I will take that. Split body control. I don't think we're gonna get much more fire out of these packs, but we'll open the lucky last one. We gotta open the whole box. Dang, XSR. 
Last pack magic. This is good art too. Love that one. Luna Ring. So we did get a uh, Miracle Attack. Miracle Rare. Definitely a Miracle Box. Yeah. Got her. Oh, got an Alt SR. Beautiful. She looks psychotic there, but beautiful. Got Lightning Rod. Can go over some of the crazy hits in this. Got Lightning Rod, Subdual, Jumbo Fist, Decay Awakened. Got the gi how do you say Gigantification Swing. Words. Blue Flame Surge and Acid Splash. This box is absolute madness. Thank you for being here. Peace.